everybody. Today is going to be a very special day and I'm going to tell you why in just a minute. I'm also going to ask for a little bit of help from you guys. This is not going to be a guilt trip in any way for anybody. This is strictly to get some information out there to hopefully encourage a few of you guys to be able to donate. I 100% understand that there's going to be a ton of people that are not able to donate blood for health reasons, um, for fears, and that is okay. I don't wanna push anybody to do anything that they are not comfortable with. For those people, I encourage you to share this information, maybe encourage others that are able to. So today is the first day that I am eligible to donate blood. I had a bone graft done um, last April of 2020 and not realizing that it would be a year of waiting to donate. Yesterday was my first day that I was eligible to donate, so I scheduled an appointment for today. The reason this one is so important is because Landon's IVIG, his infusions that he gets, are made up of donor blood. So when you go donate blood, it takes anywhere from 1,000 to 15 thousand donations to make one one round of infusion for him donating blood has always been a special spot in my heart and it actually took me 12 times of trying to donate blood before I was able to there was different things most of the time is my hematocrit was too low um, so I wasn't able to donate um, there was a few times where like they just physically could not get the needle in for some reason i like turned a corner and i was like totally good i was able to donate and i have donated over a gallon of blood i don't know why it was always something it was like a bucket list thing like i wanted to be able to donate so i would drink tons of water and i would eat lots of stuff with iron in it and finally eventually <laughs> i got it to a point to where i was able to donate and it was just like one of those like yes moments you know what now i realize the importance especially for our family how much um, blood donation does impact landon without the infusions that he gets his life would be so different uh i can't even imagine if we didn't have the option of this he would be fully in a wheelchair right now uh, he was declining so fast that i'm not sure what abilities he would have right now so um, that's kind of the backstory of why this is so important to me. What I have come up with is a virtual blood drive. I want you guys, if you guys go and donate, I want you to take a selfie maybe outside the building or while you're donating and either send it to me on Instagram or email it to me, whatever you want to do. Um, even if you go and you're not able to donate, please message me. I want to personally thank you. I would love to put a little ending to one of my videos with all of your pictures and all of that and just to say thank you because um, blood donation is so important for our family. I do check my email, but I check my Instagram messages the most. So either post it on your stories and tag me in it. Make sure you tag me um, so I see it or send a message to me and I will love to say thank you. I do have a needle fear. Um, and I know I've heard a lot of people say, oh, like I could never do that. Um, that was, that was me. I don't like needles. I, I get very, very nervous. I don't like them. Uh, I have, I have passed out because I just get so overwhelmed, but blood donation is not something that they can create in a lab. Like the only way that they can get blood is through human donation. And if by me hurtling over a fear can possibly save someone's life or give Landon the opportunity to be able to walk again uh, is is pretty, it's more important than the fear that I have. So, um, man, <laughs> why do I cry in every single one of these videos? Uh, it's just something that is so passionate in me right now. Thank you for listening to my little spiel. Again, if you donate, please snap a picture or message me. I wanna hear from you guys and um, just give you a big warm virtual hug and say thank you. So before I head over there, I do wanna go over a few things of what I've done to prepare for this, just super quick. As of early this morning, I started drinking a ton of water. The more water you drink, the bigger your veins are, the easier it is. I have gone where I did not have enough water and those are the only times I've ever had issues donating. 
So I just highly encourage you to drink, 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 drink your water. So I have finished about two of these, which is about 60 ounces of water. Not a ton, but it's only two o'clock. So the second thing is make sure you're eating like very iron rich foods. It really bumps up your hematocrit and, and it just gives you higher chances of donating. So, okay, I'm gonna head out. One thing that I noticed on the way here was how crazy the roads were like a week ago. Like just over a week ago was when we were traveling to Anchorage and the roads were just like covered in snow. The trees were covered in snow, it was a blizzard. And now it is 51 degrees and like the roads are clear. They're still a little bit wet obviously from like all the massive amounts of snow, but like I'm gonna insert the footage back to back from a week ago and then just now and show you the difference. Is that not insane? Like a week, whoa. <laughs> Normally when we get storms or like crazy snow like that, um, we see it all winter long. But like the fact that we got like 18 inches of snow, 18 to like 22 inches of snow, and it's like gone now. And all parking lots are just crazy. This is what we call breakup because all the snow is breaking up and this. I have gotten a few comments about my pink masks. You know I love pink. This is also a Buff Bunny jacket. I'm not sure if it's in stock, but I will link it down below if it is. Also, I'm gonna link my pink masks. I've had a few people ask for, ask for the link. I just got them off of Amazon, but um, I love them because they make me feel fun. <laughs> All right, for real. Let's go in and donate some blood. <laughs> so nervous. <laughs> I don't know for how long I'll get to hold your hand. So I just talked to the manager here and she is happy to let me kind of film throughout. Obviously there's some things I do have to leave out. I'm gonna go ahead and get registered and then they'll pull me in a room and they'll kind of check my blood pressure. They'll check my hematocrit. Um, they'll do some other things and kind of make sure I'm like healthy and then um, make sure I'm able to donate and then we'll go from there. So what he went over was um, basically a bunch of medical questions on like, um, you know, if you're pregnant or if you've ever been pregnant. Um, they check your blood pressure, your hematocrit, your temperature, make sure that you're all feeling healthy. My hematocrit was good, which is one of the things that has stopped me from donating in the past. So excited, I drink tons of water, so I feel very good that this is gonna happen. They have been so wonderful in answering all my questions, and I'm gonna have more information on a possible blood drive here coming this summer. I'm really excited. Don't you worry, I'm not going anywhere. I will stay here. I will stay here And as long as my heart beats like a drum Then I won't back down No, I won't back down For the next 24 hours, use the arm as little as possible. Okay. No strenuous activity, don't skip any meals, hydrate well. Okay. For the next 30 minutes, if you are a smoker, including e-cigarettes, please don't do so. Okay. Keep the bandage on for four hours and sight clean for the next couple of days. Hang out with us for 15 minutes, make sure you're feeling 110% free with us. Snacks and drinks are available, hook stuff, anything that you like. All right. Avoid alcohol for the next few hours. Gift wrapping services are free. Oh, how cute. <laughs> it's not going to be easy, but I'll try. Don't cool off a little bit. Should be body temperature. Wow, yeah. So this is it, guys. Sorry if you're a little bit squeamish. Um, they basically break it up into these bags. These tubes are all connected to this, so it, they're able to transfer it without any human contact. Pretty neat. Look at that. I will try to do my best until the day that I die. I won't lie. I won't lie. It's not going to be easy, but I'll try. Don't you worry, I'm not going anywhere. I will stay here, I will stay here. And as long as my heart beats like a drum, then I won't back down. I'm all done. 
that went so well they gave me so much good information on like possibly hosting a blood drive this summer if you are curious at all whether you can donate or not just call your local blood bank ask some questions now i have been eating low carb for like the last week i just i feel really good on low carb it's not like a lifelong commitment thing but i just feel really good i kind of detox from like sugar and stuff and i will say that i did have some juice just because you can get kind of weak um during donating and the sugar like upping your blood sugar helps out a little bit so anyways um so thankful that i was able to get the footage and i appreciate them letting me do all this thank you guys for listening if you are still around for this this is just something that's so important to me and oh, man something that i pushed so hard for like donating blood and then to have it be such an important part of our lives is just pretty crazy anyways all right we're gonna head home. Lance is smoking some ribs, so I'm so excited. I don't, I don't know what the rest of the day. This is like my whole goal today was donate blood. <laughs> Look at this little Alaskan wow. man in his. <laughs> Okay, that's where all the single women come into my comments. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. So I decided to continue this vlog on. Lance and I went out and had like a wonderful fire. We've done that the last like three nights in a row. And it's just been really like calming for my soul to sit around the fire. Lance ended up buying me a smokeless fire pit for our anniversary. They are crazy, crazy expensive, but it is so neat. So the way it's smokeless is basically the, the way the air flows, I believe. It kind of shoots up the smoke. So the smoke is like above you. So it's not really like smokeless. It's just you don't smell like smoke. <laughs> So anyways, I thought that was really cool and so neat because he knows like campfires are like my calm and my reset and I could just sit around a campfire like all day and just enjoy it. The biggest thing is like, I don't like washing my hair every day. I normally try to skip two days. Sometimes it's only one, but I, you know, I hit a certain point. I should have washed my hair today. I can just feel it's gross and I should have washed it, but it doesn't smell like campfire from last night, which is like so amazing. That's like the biggest thing with a campfire is like you know you have to wash your hair the next day or smell like a campfire all day, whichever. <laughs> Landon is currently in physical therapy. For those that don't know, he has physical therapy twice a week. He just had lost a lot of muscle during his whole um, journey. So what Landon has is CIDP. And what it is, is an autoimmune disorder where his body is attacking his nerves. Well, when your nerves are not firing, it's not firing off those muscles. There was a good portion of his muscles that were just not working at all or very minimal. And so this is so important for his like rehabilitation after going through such a like traumatic journey. I truly think because of IVIG and physical therapy is the reason he is doing so well. I think if you just did IVIG, you would see improvement, 
but without the physical therapy, I don't think he would be doing as well as he is now. He is a very active kid, but still having these times to go and they focus on his balance and his strength and like just all the good stuff. So I am a big believer in physical therapy. Once Landon is done with physical therapy, uh, I do have to run a few errands. Lance has to go back to work tomorrow. Today's kind of the day that like I get all this anxiety of like what we did not get done on his days off and like what my house looks like and like because he now has to work for the next five days and he's completely consumed. He goes to work, he comes home, he eats, he takes a shower, he goes to bed like and then repeat that five times. <laughs> so I just know I'm not going to have help for the next five days, at least from him. And so there's all this stuff runs through my head of like what I should have done when he was off of work. But that's all right. That's all right, one thing at a time. I am feeling fantastic today after my blood donation, in case you're wondering if you feel like run down or anything like that. I did feel very tired last night. I just kind of like hit a wall to where my body just felt tired, but it wasn't like, I felt bad. I was just like, okay, I need to go to sleep. Um, but I feel fantastic today. So, in case you're wondering. Okay, we may have ran some errands. I had to go to Old Navy and I went to Home Depot and now I'm at the bank. Terrible vlogger. How was physical therapy, bud? Good. What's your favorite thing about physical therapy? I'm gonna say just mostly everything. <laughs> everything? You enjoy it? Mm -hmm. It's fun? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who's your favorite physical therapist? Eric. <laughs> That's what I figured. Eric is the physical therapist that has taken care of him from like the beginning, so uh, he just has like formed a bond with him. He works with two different physical therapists. They kind of like mix it up to make sure he's getting different views of what he needs to work on. Some people work with like balance, some work with strength. I have to head to Natalie's dermatologist. She ran out of, she's on medication for psoriasis. Um, she has extreme psoriasis and she ran out and with a bunch of stuff. Anyways, we're gonna go pick up. They have a sample of it, thankfully, so she can get back on track with her medication. All right, went and picked up the medicine. I can't show you, I don't think, because YouTube stuff, but um, basically she gets an injection every two weeks because her psoriasis got to the point to where it was like covering her whole body in like patches. Her entire scalp was covered. Um, anyways, something else we've been dealing with, but um, it's not something that is like life-threatening or anything, but something she was very insecure about and I want her to be confident and and I don't want her to have scars from this um, there is arthritis is a big thing when you have psoriasis that they have to watch and this can help kind of prevent that anyways whew, busy day we are gonna head home and hopefully do a little fire again <laughs> I decided to stop and get the kids some Italian cream sodas because it's fun. And today's last, daddy's last day. And he has to go back to work tomorrow. And we're just gonna make it all fun. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Wow, yeah. looks like the ocean. <laughs> Look how beautiful that is. Thank you so much. Yeah, you have a great day. You too. She was like super, super sweet. I was here at Mocha Moose. They're a local coffee hut here in North Pole. made it outside yet we were trying to work on dinner I came home and I was like the house is gonna get picked up a little bit and then I just hit a point where I was like screw all the chores let's go outside <laughs> so we're trying to figure out dinner right now and as you saw in that b-roll I we had gotten fresh corn but that corn actually had like a sour smell to it I've never had that before and we just bought that I know a lot of people are like against like why would you eat frozen meals when you can eat fresh but in Alaska by the time fresh vegetables and fruit get to Alaska half the time the frozen stuff is better than the fresh stuff just a little like tidbit on like why we mostly eat frozen vegetables the kids are already outside we're gonna go join them we're gonna have some fun time start a fire just have all sorts of fun
you make there? Here. Look at this. You just made this. I just got the bark from bark from this. Uh huh. And use it as string. I got then, a rock. And then you put a rock in there. Wow, mm -hmm. that's awesome, bud. Good job. Wow, good job. We are just sitting around the fire. I've been kind of running around like crazy, you know, taking kids potty and making sure nobody's getting burned because I'm super paranoid around the fire. But it's been fun. The kids have just been like exploring in the woods and playing in the puddles. And I like way overdressed coming out here. I was in like snow pants in my winter coat. Now I have none of that on. I have just the good old extra tufts. We're about to eat some dinner. I'm gonna go ahead and end this and I'll have a little bit of B-roll at the end of our dinner and stuff. But thank you guys for coming along on this adventure of donating blood to physical therapy today to just our normal daily life. I appreciate you guys and I love you guys and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Even in the hard time, you and I can weather any storm. Before I sleep, hear the crickets, see the moon. Side by side and through and through.